Hi, it's Danny the Plumber, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly clean out a clogged shower drain. Today, I'm in Culver City, Los Angeles, California, at a condominium complex, and I have a shower drain that backed up on its own in the middle of the night, and that's because it's a three-story complex, and it backed up on the first floor. So when they woke up in the morning, the shower was totally filled with water, and that was because someone on the second or third floor was using their shower, and there's common pipes, and that's very typical for an apartment or a condo, and the first floor got it because the cloggage was downstream from the first floor. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna run some water and you can actually hear it when it starts to start backing up on the drain. Hear it. Come up. Just start plugging in a second. There it is. Back up. Next step, we're gonna remove the two screws around this drain cover here. We removed one already, and that just takes a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew counterclockwise. Then we can pull off the um, drain cover there, and you can see the nice cockroaches that had come up. There was a couple. I cleaned up a couple already um, from the drain from it backing up. A lot of times there's cockroaches that are in sewer pipes. All right, so now I've got my Gorlitz self-feeding machine. And a self-feeding machine is something that you actually pull the little cable rod right there. You pull it out with your hand, and there's a foot pedal that rotates it, the thing spinning it round and round in a circle. There's the foot pedal right there, and that thing just rotates the cable, and it's fed down by um, my helper's hand there. You can see that thing rotating as he presses down on the foot pedal and the cable, I don't know if you can see it in here real clearly, but is spinning round and round. I have what's called a drop head on that um, tip of the cable there. The drop head I like the best. It really helps it to um, get past the traps and the T in the wall and things like that. So he's just going down uh, slowly. You can see it's not real fast, but this is all you need. And you want to, you don't want to go too fast. You want to clean these pipes real well. And so it's just going real slowly and we've got a little bit of water in there and it backed up and it's not going down but we do that on purpose the reason we put a little water and keep a little bit of water in the drain line is because then we'll know exactly when we've hit our cloggage so he's just going round and round it's just uh, bouncing around that water a little bit a little annoying when it splashes you but i really like to see the water in there and when it goes down um, and then you can determine how far down the drain the cloggage was Oh, by the way, those gloves that we're using are called ugly gloves. And ugly gloves are a necessity anytime you're trying to snake out anything. If you've got a regular pair of gloves, like cloth gloves or even leather gloves, what will happen is the snake machine cable will grab those gloves and wrap them around and it's really painful. Okay, as you can see, he got that cloggage taken care of, the water drained immediately, and what he's doing is continuing to go down a little bit further past the cloggage in case there's anything more, and what we'll do is actually um, bring the cable back out, clean it off, because it's most likely going to be hair in the shower drains most of the time and then run it down one more time even further but it's good to go just a little bit past beyond the trap just so it doesn't push whatever cloggage down a little bit further and so that's what he's did there and at that point yeah uh, we can pull it back right now and see what's on the tip of it clean it off and send it back down one more time all right, I'm just gonna go fast forward a little bit so you don't have to sit here and watch me retrieve that cable, um, but that's all we're doing here. And we can see, once he pulls it out right here, uh, exactly what's on the line. 
Uh, we've got a bunch of hair, some blue thing in there as well. But it's super typical that you'll get a big chunk of hair that's real black like that at the tip of the cable when you snake these things out. Um, always hair um, in the shower drains and the um, bathroom um, lavatory sinks and bathtubs as well. Next step, we are going to grab ourselves a utility knife and cut off the hair from the tip of the snake. Um, the hair is super, super strong stuff. It's really hard always to get this stuff off of there. Um, it just holds on and it doesn't want to break real easily. And so it takes a little time to get the stuff off of there if it's hair, um, but definitely doable. So that's all we're doing now, cleaning off the tip. Next step. After we've got the hair removed, we're going to put our two screws back on and clean up the hair so we don't shove that hair back down the drain. Obviously, that would not be good. Uh, my helper took off the head here. Um, we're in California, and we've got flow restrictors, so not a lot of water comes out of the shower head. So if you take that off, we've got more water, and we can really test the drain line. Uh, what I didn't show is we did snake it out one more time just to make sure it was all good. And finally, our last step is to sanitize the whole area. I like to use Comet or Bleach and really clean the area super well for the customer. We've got the shower heads back on, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.